www.digitallive.com. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing, man? Baby, let me just tell y'all. You know, I, always, I have a lot of gay friends. A lot of people always think I'm gay because I have a lot of gay friends. I just hang around gay. And I love them and they love me. Hey, her. Hey, Cliffs. Ain't nothing going on. What's that? <laughs> that was, Ain't nothing yeah, happening. Yeah, that kind of was weird. <laughs> Gotta have a lot of gay no, friends. I, and then you no, I want to be right rude. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No, I had just went right in because yeah, I, uh-huh. then I had thought about, oh, I ain't even spoken to my people that's in the studio before. I just went right in and just ignored y'all like y'all wasn't here. But like I said, I have a lot of gay friends. So, you know, they love me and I love them and everything. And, you know, and I'm just, you know, everything in the news is just giving me so gay. Everything is so gay. So, Today, I want to dedicate my show to the gays. To the gays. Hey, her. <laughs> No, I'm like, did I tell you get that camera out my face? You all up I told you to get that camera out. I'm all shining and shit. Oh, but anyway, it's cool. It's cool. I'm just cool. Come on, I'm cool. I'm just, I'm just talking. But why are you doing that? Oh, I just want to say. The Miami Heat, the Miami Heat and their wives and, you know, the coaches and all the, you know, uh, personnel they was hanging out with, President Barack Obama, huh? They was hanging out with the president. You know, they the NBA champs, so, you know, all the championship teams, and, you know, Super Bowl champs, the Major League Baseball champs, and NBA, all of them. They always go to the White House, honey, but, you know, the Miami Heat, they went to the White House, and they was hanging out with the president, so congratulations to the Miami Heat, but... You know, y'all got some work to do because it looks like a couple people on y'all ass this year. Y'all not just going to be a, it's not going to be a walk in the park. Because I think Colton Bryant and them going to get themselves together and they fix to come on and do some damage up in the NBA championship. They're going to get to the playoffs and all of that. But everybody yeah. thinking it's going to be OKC, honey, Oklahoma and, you know, Kevin Durant and all them, honey. But we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, I ain't want to talk about sports today. I'm just dedicating everything to gay. And I'll say, I thought you were talking about gay stuff. Well, it's a whole lot of gay NBA players. And speaking of gays, I just want to say, uh, before I left yesterday, yeah, there they go. Obama got him a T-shirt. He got him a jersey, honey, and a basketball. He loves him some basketball. But anyway, I just want to say that, mm, I'm going to say this story right here. It has nothing to do with being gay. <laughs> but I read this and I just <laughs> I just said, that is not possible. <laughs> How in the hell is that possible? <laughs> Rick Ross. <laughs> Rick Ross crashed his Rolls Royce after he had fled the scene. Apparently, somebody was trying to do a drive-by shooting. Now, the police say that the car was just bullet holes everywhere, but they did not get Rick Ross. <laughs> How in the hell are you going to just fool the car up, just fill it up with bullet holes, and you miss Rick Ross? As big as Rick Ross is, now maybe I need to see Rick Ross. I haven't seen him in a while. So maybe I need to see the new Rick Ross, because if they miss Rick Ross... <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they must have been shooting with pellets. But, but anyway, Rick Ross, but you know it's a big old controversy because they say that Rick Ross, <laughs> and even when he ran the car into an apartment complex, bitch, how did y'all not follow him and just just fill him up with bullets? No, honey. Now, that car looks nice. It did before he ran up into that apartment building. But anyway, you know, Rick Ross, he canceled his concert tour because he was saying that this gang, this gang, you know, they say that they're going to have to get some cheese from the Chicago gang, the gangs, the gangster disciples, honey. That's what they call themselves, honey. They say that they wanted some Rick Ross because he owed him some cheese and he's going to have to pay up. That's why he canceled his tour. But Rick Ross said he canceled his tour because his manager wasn't handling his job. He wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. But anyway... That's the Rick Ross, honey. I just couldn't understand how in the hell they gonna miss his fat ass if they shoot. <laughs> what would they shoot? Well, they shoot one bullet, then they have to reload and shoot one more bullet and reload. Cause if you had a magazine, there's no way his fat ass should have got away. But anyway, 
Kudos to Rick Ross, he got away. But back to the gays. Now, first of all, the reason I said I was gonna talk about the gays, I'm gonna just dedicate this show to the gays today, cause everything seemed like it's just gay related. Before I can get out of here yesterday, the breaking news on CNN was the Boy Scouts. The Boy Scouts were, you know, they are talking about letting the homosexuals in to the Boy Scouts. Now, now they're talking about this whole thing where the Boy Scouts, they're going to leave it up to different states. So it's just like, no, and the Boy Scouts said, no, we need to have a universal policy where all states have to go by the same policy. And they leave it up to the, you know, the states to say some states can accept the gays, some states won't accept the gays. So it's like, no, they need a university po universal policy. But anyway, there's nothing sacred no more. Because <laughs> remember the story came out, I told y'all, the story, They've been hiding. The boy scout, the boy scout scandal broke where those, you know, scout leaders and everything were messing with the boys, just like those, um, just like broke out in the Catholic Church, honey, when they was messing with the little uh, choir boys and all that. And y'all was talking about the priest with nasty and blase, blase. But anyway, they 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 kind of, kind of like kept that quiet. But now since they say that this lady that was a lesbian, she wanted to be a scout leader, honey. And they was like, no, we can't have it, honey. No, we're not gonna have it. She was giving you Pat from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> say, no, we're not gonna be able to do that. But anyway, the Boy Scouts are in they talking about accepting the gays into the Boy Scout. Her. What you feel about that? Cause y'all always say that's that, that's not a good look for the kids. For the scouts to be playing with them little boys. Uh, huh? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, there's different factors. I can't say. I can't say. <sighs> what do you think, more important? Well, I was a Girl Scout. So I was a brownie. <laughs> I bet you was. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> wow. No, not like that. <laughs> not like that. <laughs> That's not a good look in the gay community <laughs> to be a brownie in that fashion. <laughs> Her trying to start some shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but anyway, we just gonna wait and see how this turns out. Honey, I want to see if you know all these people that are protesting against you know uh, who is that Ellen you know who is that is that Walmart Ellen doing the commercials for they boycotting Ellen they boycotting this is what oh let me go in the chat room somebody in the chat room let me know is it Walmart some store that Ellen is endorsing honey so they the parents against some parents organization they against they talking about they boycotting they don't want to be a part of blah, blah, blah. it's like child it's killing honey smell it hey everybody in the chat room how y'all doing yes 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 Mm, yeah, we're going to talk about that. I see you. <laughs> Bam, a mess. Yes, I see you. We're going to talk about that, honey. <laughs> but right now, <laughs> she's talking about, talking about the X-49er. <laughs> yeah, we got that on deck, Dave. We got that on deck. But before we move on, I got to say, get a shout out to, uh, you know, yesterday I told y'all that Whitney Houston brother was going to be on Oprah Winfrey show and her mother. And it did come out that Whitney Houston brother, Michael, he finally admitted publicly for the first time that he is the one that introduced his sister to drugs. Oh, mm. so I guess Bobby Brown is off the hook. Mm. But back to the gay stories. How about Frank Ocean and Chris Brown? Chris Brown was at the studio listening to one of his artists, and he was getting ready to leave. And when he got ready to leave, he walked outside. His car was blocked in by Frank Ocean. And Frank Ocean said, say. This is my parking spot. And Chris Brown walked over to him, supposedly she extended his hand and shake his hand and say, you know, I'm my bad, you know, I won't do it no more, it won't happen again, blah, 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 blah. But when he went to extend his hand to uh, shake Frank Ocean's hand, somebody in Frank's camp jumped on Chris. And then somebody in Chris' camp, they got it going on. So then there was a big old fight all the way out in the parking lot. Girl, they said they was rambling out in the parking lot, baby. But then the fight went on the inside. They say they tore that place up on the inside, the studio child. They tore it up on the inside. Then Chris Brown, what does, what does he do? He leaves the scene. So the police were called, and the police came out, and they said that Chris Brown had fled the scene, honey. So now, 
you know, he's being investigated and the police are saying that Frank Ocean wants to file charges. Oh, my God. Now, if Frank Ocean filed charges against Chris Brown, Chris Brown could go back to jail because he's still on paper. I don't understand why Chris Brown keep running his ass around here like he is not on paper and he keep getting in trouble. You got any fight with Drake the other month that let your ass go? Now you messing with Frank Ocean. But let me tell you, it's going to be different because the gay don't handle it <laughs> like the heterosexual people so I'm sure this is not the end of it Frank Ocean and Chris Brown they also got a little Twitter smack because you know they was going back and forth on Twitter a while back and you know, they, somebody told them, you know, y'all need to chill out with all that. So now that this is the big old thing. So I'm like, Chris Brown, oh, for real, for real. Ever since Chris Brown, it's been confirmed that he and Rihanna are back together. The old Chris Brown is surfacing. I tell y'all, every time they let a little time get in between them, honey, they think everything cool. They go back to doing what they normally do, honey. So this is just Chris Brown, honey. Chris Brown, get your ass somewhere and sit down. Because Frank Ocean is going to put them things on you. You and it's gonna be uh, 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 hard for you to get over the fact that everybody gonna know that a sissy whoop your ass. So get somewhere and sit down and leave folk alone. But anyway, waiting to see if Chris Brown gonna go back to jail, honey. I got some footage of the the actual. You fight. got you got the squabble. Yeah, got the you got the fight. You got the video of the fight. You, you got the video on her say had a video of the fight, honey. Oh yes, thank you, thank you, uh, honey boo boo. That's J C Penny. When I'm talking about air, uh, you know, the people getting getting on this department store, it's J C Penny. Yeah, uh, Ella DeGeneres, she's you know endorsing J C Penny. So a lot of parents saying that they don't want they gonna stop buying this stuff because they you know just promoting this homosexuality. And they shouldn't have Ella DeGeneres promoting it and da da da. J C Penny say, yeah, go sit down. Go sit down. But anyway, back to Frank Ocean and the fight with Chris Brown. So Herb say he has the footage. Let me see her. Let everybody see. Let us see what was going on outside the studio. Let us see. <laughs> Seconds. Damn. Come on. I got it, Brody. I got it. Runway modeling. <laughs> Yo, come on, move this. Shake that body. Shake that body. Oh, yeah. What's your man? My man, I, 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 The little gay fight. <laughs> I had nothing to do. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh my God. Herb, you going to hell. You're going to hell, honey. Oh my God. But anyway, I was wondering who videotaped. Everybody was fighting, honey, they said. But you know that somebody was, you know, oh, that must, they meant to capture that out with the cameras that are outside the studio. Right. Because, you know, they had a parking lot because they had celebrities <laughs> going in and out of the building. So in case somebody tried to rob and stuff. So they, oh, so, okay, all right. I heard, you know, somebody from the inside. Yeah, DJ Herb exclusive. Oh, so in order for you to get that video like that, honey, you have to know somebody <laughs> from the inside. But anyway, we moving on from Frank Ocean to Willow, Willow Smith. Now, a lot of people are saying that, you know, Jada and Will, they let these kids have too much freedom. And a lot of people have been questioning Willow's sexuality ever since she began to cut, cut her hair and wear all these different, you know, 
uh, style clothes. You know, she has her own style and everything. So a lot of people say, you know, I know she has her own style and they let her be her and, you know, they allow her to do, uh, have all this freedom and everything. But, you know, these haircuts and these outfits that she's coming up with, she's giving me a little boy. So now they're saying that Willow is a lesbian. And they say they are confirmed it because she now has a tongue pierce. <laughs> she has a tongue pierce. So the people are saying that Willow is a bona fide lesbian. <sighs> well, if she is, I just want to let her know that I have a lot of gay friends. And if she needs some gay friends, I'll introduce her to my gay friends. They will love and accept her. Oh, my God. Speaking of lesbians, how about an old lesbian has finally <laughs> decided to tell y'all that she is, you know, playing for the other team. But before I say that, I just have to let you know what Bam a mess in the chat room says. I say Willow is being confirmed that Willow is a lesbian. Bam a mess in the chat room say, like her mom. <laughs> Y'all are insisting that uh, Jada and Will are gay. They are not gay. They go to the uh, Church of Scientology, and they just say, just be you. And it's okay for men to have feminine ways, and it's okay for women to have masculine ways. So it's just saying, it don't mean that you're a heterosexual, you're a homosexual, just because you in touch with your feminine side if you are a man, or you're in touch with your masculine side if you're a woman. It has nothing to do with you being a homosexual. I'm going to start going to the Church of Scientology, because <laughs> I can get down with that. So I can go to church with my hair <laughs> You know, I'm just in touch with my feminine side. Don't mean that I... Oh, that's so gay. Oh, that, <laughs> oh, that look like the gay poster child. That look like back in the day, that look like Rock Hudson. And <laughs> Rock Hudson, when he was fooling Elizabeth Taylor. Yes, honey, that is so gay. Oh, get that off. That is so gay. But anyway, back to the uh, old lesbian that's finally coming out. They say she's going to be performing in Fort Lauderdale. Is it Fort Lauderdale? Is it Fort Lauderdale? Uh, Long Beach. Long Beach, California. She is the headliner for Gay Pride in Long Beach, California in May. Congratulations. She is finally letting you guys know that she is a lesbian. Give it up for Queen Latifah. Yay! All right, I thought there was something going on with you when I saw you on that boat kissing on that woman and everything. But they said her the girlfriend that she's going with now, she is the reason she, she caused Queen Latifah and the other girl to break up. But I would like to say that if you are in a relationship with somebody, the only person that's going to break up with you is the person that you're in a relationship with. Can't nobody come between you. Or if you're all together and you are a couple, you are a unit, and it is firm, nobody can come between that. So if somebody else got, there it is. That's when I knew you was a list. You didn't have to tell me. You didn't have to say nothing else. That's the proof right there. Not only that, but when I was in California and saw you on that motorcycle, <laughs> rolling up on them chicks at the gay club, I knew you was a list with them, but I ain't say nothing. But now she's going to be at Gate Pride. So uh, hats off to her and, you know, I mean, yeah, hats off to Queen of the Team. Congratulations and welcome to the family. Yeah, boy. But I have to talk about the story that everybody's talking about. Oh, my God. This is so funny and it is so hilarious and I don't even believe that it's true. But we're going to go on and talk about it. I'm going to y'all let me know what y'all think. Now, this story. This is a former San Francisco 49er football player. He is being charged with assaulting his ex-boyfriend. <sighs> now, let me read it, because y'all not going to believe <laughs> Y'all not going to believe it. Now, I know I ain't going to get these names right. Former San Francisco 49er player. Oh. Let me go on. So I had to go on and pull up the whole story. <laughs> An Oakland Raider offensive tackler, Kwame Harris. Kwame Harris was arrested and charged with assaulting his ex-boyfriend at the San uh, 
Mattel, Mattel restaurant, according to the lawsuit obtained by the Sign Mattel Daily Journal. Now, the two men were arguing, catch it, they were arguing over soy sauce and underwear during the August 21st incident. Now, police say that Harris and his former lover, Dimitri, Dimitri Greer, met at the uh, San Hong's restaurant and they exchanged personal belongings, you know, to exchange personal belongings because, you know, they was breaking up. So then he was supposed to be taking his boyfriend. I'm reading. He was supposed to be taking his boyfriend, dropping him off at the airport. So, <laughs> so anyway, they got into an argument and then the argument became a little scuffle. So he ended up pulling the guy pants down. Harris, that's Harris right there. He ended up pulling the lover's pants down. So when he pulled the lover's pants down, he discovered that he had on some of his underwear. <laughs> wow. He discovered he had on a pair of his underwear. They got into a fight. He threw the boy's uh, luggage out. He drove off and left him standing up there, fending for himself. He wouldn't even drop him off at the airport. Like, oh my God. Oh my God, are you serious? Are you serious? Now these two big old grown men, they got into a fight. Now, to all you ladies saying, child, uh, you can always tell the gay folks and gay folks, you know, one is always uh, masculine and the other was always feminine. Look, put that picture of both of them up here. The DL brothers. Now when he was playing football, y'all didn't know nothing about he was on the DL. Then look at the one on the opposite side, on the right. Y'all don't know. Y'all, do you do you know that he's gay? Could you tell if he's gay? If either one of them, could you tell that they were gay or her? No, not really. Could you, Clips? Nah. Anybody in the chat room, can y'all just see either one of them being gay? It look like the same nigga. It does look like the same person. That's what I was thinking when I saw it. I said, this is the same right. person. They look like brothers. But then look at the nose and look at the lips. One of them lip pink and the other one brown. The one that, uh... <laughs> Like football, his lips are brown. But <clears throat> oh my god, when I read that, I said, "Oh my god, are y'all serious?" So I just want to know. I just want to know her. I want to know from everybody in the chat room. What do y'all think about that? Because her said when he read the story. <laughs> Heard say when he read the story and he saw that the guy had pulled the guy pants down, he said, "You know what? What was he doing? Was he trying to get get with him one more, one last chance, <laughs> one last time?" No, her. He was not. He was not trying to get with him one last time, honey. He was trying to embarrass that child, embarrassing that child in public, pulling down his pants in public, trying to embarrass him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh there's a whole bunch of other things you can do. Uh -huh. I, I just can't imagine sitting there having a conversation or arguing with a guy and all of a sudden somebody's pants coming down. So I'm trying to figure out what, it leads me to think other stuff. That's all. What's the other stuff again, it leads you to think? I'm just, I, I don't know. I, but they I, are in public. They're at a restaurant. You won't think, you don't think he trying to get with it right there at the restaurant, huh? Yeah, why not? They two men. I mean, they could go. I mean, come on. Have it at the restaurant. Why not? Everybody looking. What you mean? Everybody right there. I mean, come on, man. Her. What you mean? You do not think they was trying. He was trying to get his get his freak on at the restaurant with that child. I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> to, I, I I can't. I just I don't know, man. It's just. But you know what that reminded me of when I saw it, when I read that. It reminded me of the conversation that me and Eclipse had yesterday. What, what, Man, what conversation was conversation that? conversation you had? Oh, yeah, well, please, what was that? <laughs> you remember the conversation we had yesterday? And y'all was talking, y'all was having y'all a show in here, and I came in and you asked me, you say, about cheating. <laughs> Man, I don't remember at all. Cheating. Y'all was talking about cheating yesterday, you know, uh -huh. how it feel to be cheated on and all that, and da 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 what you think about cheating? Uh-huh. And then I was telling you about I have been cheated on. <laughs> oh, you stupid. <laughs> you know, yeah, I remember now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when you were talking about another man, I said, I ain't gonna hear that. <laughs> man, well, that ain't, well, that's not really cheating. <laughs> and that's not a relationship. You know, that's not cheating. That don't count. <laughs> 
But anyway, they are going, it's just getting out of control. It's getting out of control, honey. They all at the restaurant fighting and carrying on. You know, y'all done broke up. You know, he done. <laughs> I can't really just. <laughs> I can't. I can't really just talk like I want to talk because it's just. <laughs> Why you can't? Man, say what you feel. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tune you out. No. I'm gonna tune on the vision. No, I'm gonna be respectful. I'm gonna be respectful. <laughs> Man. Man, he play football. <laughs> he play football. Now I'm telling you right now. I'ma tell y'all, and all the, the reason, <laughs> man. Roy, Roy in the chat room was tripping. <laughs> that can't be true. That can't be true. <sighs> they were in an argument, and someone, what? Perp wants wheat. <laughs> wow. Oh my God, Roy! Right. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. No, honey. <laughs> y'all crazy. Y'all making y'all making the, the gay community look bad. Stop it. Just stop. <laughs> but uh, 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 what's my friend? in the chat room. Love my life. Love my life. What you think, girl? You talking about stop, Miss Sophia. Stop, LOL. Love my life. What you think? What you think, girl? Why you think he pulled the bar pants down? But anyway, it could be, there are various reasons why he probably pulled his pants down, her. One reason. <laughs> one reason. Oh, of course you would know. One I, reason. I, don't know. I, I, I cannot name one reason why he would pull the dude's pants one down. One reason he would pull dude's pants down is to embarrass him and let everybody know that dude is the bottom. <laughs> Wait a minute, is, how would he know he's the bottom by just pulling his pants down? How? Uh because -huh. you Wait don't see minute. no, when he pulled the pants down, you don't see no bulge. <laughs> uh. So he let everybody know right then, we breaking up. So if you think you want to be with one of us, I'm the one you want to be with, not him. Oh man. Wow. They uncomfortable eclipse. <laughs> eclipse uncomfortable in here. Us talking about that. Man, I'm not uncomfortable. <laughs> it is what it is. But if you but this this is what I wanna know. If you if you were at the restaurant <laughs> if you all were at the restaurant and you all saw this, how would you react, her? Saw what? I ain't see two shit. Two men, you see two men, then they get the argument. Then all of a sudden, one of the men pulled the other man's pants down. I ain't see nothing. You ain't see it? I ain't see nothing. You just gonna ignore it like you don't see it? I don't see nothing. I ain't Shoot. seen that. I see nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Mm. And the world star video of it? Of the fight? Yeah, I know somebody had to record it in a public place like that. Think so? Yeah, you would think so. Somebody recorded, yes, and I'm sure they had a restaurant. They had, uh, they had like we was talking about. They had uh, cameras at the restaurant, so yeah, they got it. Mm -hmm. But it's just like it just goes to show you. It, I also thought about it. we was playing and everything, and joking about it. But it just goes to show you that these football players, they really have mental problems. They really have mental problems because you know what I'm saying that. You know, all these concussions that they get and all that, it really caused them to have, like, really, really, it, it traumatized them, and they have all kind of medical issues when they leave the league. But, you know, just for you to be sitting up here, you done went through the whole, you done went your whole life hiding who you are, not letting everybody know that you gay, you know, and all of that. You done played in, the co you played in college, high school, NFL, nobody know. Now all of a sudden you not with the NFL no more and you out acting a fool with another dude in public. And now it's now that, you know, this is your lover. This is your ex-lover, y'all, you know. So like, oh my God. So where's the mental problem? Huh? So where is the mental problem? Because all of a sudden it's just like you've been you've been hiding who you were. You ain't you know you wasn't no openly gay person. Uh -huh. You know now all of a sudden you didn't got to the point where something has to be wrong with you mentally. If you up in a restaurant and you you know you're in a restaurant, all of a sudden you get to argue with another man. Uh -huh. Y'all. I thought you were about to say being gay was a mental problem. I was like, man, you go. Being gay is your, your a friends mental, no. gonna be mad at you for that. No, they got their head. They no, they getting it. 
their head banged and everything. So there's something else, you know, going on with them. But I found a picture of Ray Lewis. He was there watching them fight. Oh. <laughs> No, <laughs> save that because that's how it gonna look after the Super Bowl. Because Baltimore is not gonna win the Super Bowl. Man. That's how Ray Lewis is gonna look. But I'm, you know, and I'm just waiting on him because Ray Lewis, he finna come out. Come Ray on, Lewis, he's getting ready to come out after he leave the league. Ray Lewis coming out. Where he coming out to? He, he he let y'all know that you know. He coming out the league, right? He retired. He coming out the closet. For you, man, you think so? Yeah, y'all see y'all be killing me. This is what this is what gets y'all in trouble. Y'all think because a man fathers some children that he's not gay. No, no, I ain't say that. I didn't know I he had kids. You. Huh? I didn't know he had kids. I just wouldn't expect Yeah, you that. didn't see the special they ran on him this no, past weekend or last Lewis weekend. Fan. Right before the game. You know that was so did you see it her? Yeah, he well, See y'all don't watch football. He did I watch stab football. A dude, though, so it kind of He did what? I said he did stab somebody. What you mean stab? Didn't he stab somebody? No. In Buckhead. Yeah. No, that wasn't him. Because, you know, like. He got off. Men don't stab. I mean, manly, manly men don't shoot. stab, right? They shoot. Yeah. That's what I would think. Yeah, men are supposed to shoot. Yeah. So he stabbed somebody, so that kind of explains. What but see. <laughs> <laughs> he had see, a switchblade on him. You have to be careful <laughs> because razor. that's that's the term that they use in the gay community, stab. <laughs> I'm talking about with a knife. I'm talking about with a knife. See, that's what dude that got into it in the restaurant about. He wanted to stab dude one more time. That's what Herb said. He said he wanted Crazy. to stab dude one more time. That's why, that's why they got into it. So, see. See, that's why I don't talk at work. When I'm at the club, I don't say nothing. I don't never know what's right to say or what's wrong to say. So, I keep it on it has different. It has different meaning in the gay community, honey. He looks crazy as hell. That's what Bama Man says, honey. Ray can't be gay. Roy said, Ray can't be gay. Why Ray can't be gay? Look at him. Let me tell you why Ray gay. <laughs> I saw the special. Ray, he uh, he didn't have his father growing up. And his, his father was the coach. His coaches were his father and stuff. So then he had all kind of, he had all kind of issues with all of that. So then he finally came. He said he broke the cycle with his kids because he didn't want to be, you know, like his father. So uh, his father come to find out, you know, his father, the reason his father treated him like that, and he just left him. He said his father just left and, you know, didn't have nothing to do with him when he was young, just left him and his mom and stuff. So then one day his dad came and he picked him up and he took him to his grandfather's house, which was his dad's dad. And, you know, they went in there and he found out that the reason that Ray's father abandoned him was because his father was the product of an abandoned father. So he ended the cycle with his boys. Mm -hmm. He don't want them to feel like abandoned. He abandoned them. So he said he was the father to his kids that you know, he, he didn't have. Mm. But now that all the kids are getting ready to, you know, they're grown for them to get out and go on their own and everything, Ray gonna come out and tell y'all that, you know, and all this time I was really being a father because I wanted to be the father that I never had. But deep down inside, I was their mom. So you gonna be like, um, Ben Rains and, um, what's that, Holiday Heart? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, how you doing? <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> you retarded, man. Holiday hard. <laughs> that big nigga in a wig and muscles. <laughs> you stupid. Could you please pull up Holiday hard? <laughs> Could you please pull it up here? Please pull it up. Oh. He look good, crazy as hell. Ray Lewis now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I don't know what you're talking about, Clip. You're not finna read. I'm telling you right now. You look at that picture. Look at that picture. Now y'all can say what y'all want. That bitch is giving you Billy Holiday. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> you you've been a holiday, honey. I don't know what y'all say. Oh, he's scared. He, mm, let me see. <clears throat> she say, 
He scared the heebie-jeebies out of women, of both women and men. Ray is celibate. <laughs> now she giving you the supreme. <laughs> Go on in, sis. Go on in. Uh, oh. Roy say not to get all juvenile about it, but Ray is probably married to his left hand. Wow, you know what? I am ever. I am very uncomfortable talking about sex. Very uncomfortable talking about sex. I don't talk about it. You notice that Herb? I don't talk about sex. I always I, I, cover. I noticed that. Yeah, I noticed. I that. always cover up, and I don't like talking about sex. I'm, I'm uncomfortable talking about it, and it's because <laughs> I would be uncomfortable with you talking about sex. Right, and I know that, and that's why I don't. That's why I'm uncomfortable talking about it because I know that you know present company would be uncomfortable with me talking about it, and so it's just like the stuff that I really want to say <laughs> I can't say it because DJ Herb and Eclipse are in here, and I'm trying to respect DJ Herb and Eclipse, but I could really go there with y'all today. Man, <laughs> can really go. Headphones not gonna help. Headphones not gonna help. <laughs> Cause if I really just go, just go all in, <laughs> it would be them say, "Oh my God, y'all would see me in a totally different light." So I really don't talk about sex. I don't, you know, it's just not something that I do with with other heterosexuals. <laughs> you feel me? But anyway, her. I think we better go on and get out of here today. Okay. Cause we could talk. We can talk and we can talk. <laughs> Hell holiday. Holiday. <laughs> but uh Papa's not here. <laughs> Look, Roy said, you ought to have Alexis K as guest, as a guest. Where is Jason Pampas? Child, Jason is at the house in the bed, child. I called Jason. Oh, hello. Let me see if I can find a ride up there. He at the house in the bed. But anyway, uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I had to come in today because, you know, last week, you know, I was out of town and flight and came back and missed Tuesday, overslept. Then Wednesday, didn't have no ride. You know, a bitch is just getting here. So it's just like, I'm like Malcolm X. I'm getting to the studio by any means necessary. I'm getting to the studio. I don't care if I have to do like I did last night. And I'm not going to tell you what I did, but I'm here. <laughs> a bitch is here. You hear what I'm saying, her? Yeah, I hear what a bitch saying. is here. And now, a lot of people, they worried and upset and wondering what Beyonce going to do at the Super Bowl this week. Just wait and see. Now they're saying the report is coming out. You know, I'm saying we was getting ready to go here. But the report is coming out that the Super Bowl staff are saying that Beyonce is the, uh, they say she is the worst person in the history of the Super Bowl that they have worked with. <laughs> That's not a good look, B. That's not a good look. They said she is the worst person in the history of the Super Bowl to work with. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow on the show, we want to talk about, we're going to bring up some, some good Super Bowl halftime performances. Okay, her. Okay. Now, I want you to pull, I already know, I want you to pull, there has never been another entrance the way my girl entered when she did the Super Bowl. You already know who I'm talking about, right, her? Mm -mm. You, you don't know who I'm talking about? Huh? Clip. Y'all don't know. Who had the baddest interest in Super Bowl history? Somebody in the chat room, Chris. let me know. Who had the baddest interest in Super Bowl history? Baddest. The baddest. The only one. And nobody has topped it yet. Somebody said, Roy said, Janet. Nope. What Janet? You said girlfriend, so it got to be a dude. <laughs> Cliff's trying to catch on. Y'all heard Cliff talk about you say girlfriend, so it gotta be a dude. Love my life, say that. Huh? Janet Jackson, no, honey boo boo. That's it. That's it, honey boo boo. Diana Ross, baby. Diana Ross had the baby. Anybody? That bitch came in in a helicopter. You don't remember her? Uh -uh, don't you don't remember me, Cliff? So y'all have been in the football. What have y'all been? Y'all have been watching football. What y'all been doing? What y'all been doing? I like basketball. I'm not a yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big sports person I'm either. Not football. I like basketball. Oh, 
Diana Ross. Yes, honey, it was Diana Ross. She entered in a helicopter. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson did a good job when he did the halftime for the Diana Super Bowl. Ross had to be like, what, Super Bowl in 81? What? Who was it? I don't know. All I know is she came in in a helicopter. That bitch came in in a helicopter. It was off the chain. Nobody said it yeah, off like that before. Michael too. Jackson did a nice job when he did the Super Bowl. Prince, you say Prince. You know, know what? I like what you call him, though. Black Eyed P. Yeah. Black Eyed P did a nice job. Uh, there it is. There it is, baby. There it is. You see them X? That's 30, honey. See, it's 30. He did about 15. There it is, baby. Also, uh, the Oak Ridge Boys. Conway Twitty. I would have thought Bruce Springsteen he would have been big too. Bruce Springsteen, he was good. What's her name was dope. Who? When, when Madonna did a few years ago. Madonna, Madonna. yeah, Madonna, Madonna was good. With MIA. And Nicki Minaj. Minaj. Yeah. MIA, honey, she didn't yeah, shot she the shot bird. The bird. Yeah, yep, good. yep. You know, and then I want y'all to tell me who are some of the people that y'all want, uh, y'all want to see do the halftime at Super Bowl. And everybody, who having a Super Bowl party? In the chat room, anybody having a Super Bowl party? We can come and do the show from your house. Live, Sunday. Who having a Super Bowl party? Whitney Houston, love my life. You like Whitney Houston's halftime? Child Roy, you say you never watched the halftime show. What do you watch? That's what everybody tune in for. Yeah, the commercials and the game. The commercial and the, yeah, the commercial and halftime. That's what. That's just like going to a college game and you gonna get up and leave during halftime. <laughs> Bitch, what? Who does that? Hello, hello, Roy. Roy, you must went to a white school. You must went to a white school where y'all was out there with all that precision the shit. Core, the core bands. We was out there. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, when you go to the blacks, huh? I don't know. I got this. You know, I was a major red. <laughs> wow, I did not know. <laughs> Grambling HBCU. All right, who is that talking about Grambling, baby? That's right, Roy. You went to Grambling. Oh, what? You a swag baby. I'm a swag baby too. I went to Texas Southern. Hi. Hi. Child, then I was a major red, and then I was. Huh. We're the so one pretty. The, that's a baton? Huh? You do the baton thing? That's a major red, right? <laughs> you know what a major red is. That's one that's one yeah. stick, right? Yeah. No, nah, it ain't no stick. It's a baton. Yeah, yes, I, I was. I, know that I had a few of them chicks that did that. You had a few chicks that did I what? Said I hit a few chicks that did that. You hit? Yeah. A few Why chicks. were you hitting on women? No. Why would you I hit women? A, I used to be. I was in a band too. I hit a few. Chicks. Oh, you when you say hit women, you you yeah. talk about you hit a few women like that. Yeah, you mean you had them. stabbed them? If that's I had relations with them. Relations? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know what that is. Yeah, of course I do. Oh. Okay. That's a hell of a talent too. I'll say y'all do that. Roy, tell me, we beat, we beat TSU 52 to 0 once. Roy, did you hear what we said? We go to the game for the halftime. We don't give a fuck about the score. <laughs> 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 we was going for the halftime. The ocean of soul. Now, I was at Dick Southern with the o <coughs> That's a Roy school. That precision, look. Baby, well, I'm telling you, them white kids, they get gukus of money in scholarships for the band. Gukus of money, honey. Who smash? You know who getting sorry? We're going to get out of here because we're going to talk about our list tomorrow. Halftime, Super Bowl halftimes. We play some money. Uh, one 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 performances from halftime at Super Bowl. But um Eddie Rock, baby! Rambling, yes, rambling baby, Eddie Rock. Yeah. But uh Shit Stutter.
jet setters. See there, it's not jet setters, J setters. J setters. Curve, you should have played what you call. Fam, you bad getting hard. The March 100, they get hard. about bands, being in bands and stuff that I learned when it comes to the white and the black. Not <laughs> Blacks go to school and they in the band. They stay in the school. They stay in school for 10 years just playing in the band. They don't take but two classes. Yeah. Two classes a semester honey, just so they can stay in the band. White folks get them good jobs when they come out of the band. Like we be laughing talking about that old boring position and all that shit. Those are the people that you see at the symphony playing in the orchestra. Those are the people that are scoring movie scores and all that. Those are the people who are really getting the good jobs in the music industry while we sitting up here trying to sing in front of a mic and all that. They ass making the cheese. And then the college, those colleges, you get money just working with the band. They get money. So it's like they can graduate and go on back and, you know, be the band director. The tigers. That's my we the real tigers, because that was the whole thing. Jackson State Tigers, Texas Southern University Tigers, and Grambling State Tigers. But we were the real tigers. Ah, bam! I enjoyed my time when I was chilling it out in Grambling. Yes, I did. Yes. I'm trying to get out of here, Herb, but DJ Clips act like, huh? Yeah, I used to be a cheerleader, too. Yes. I was a cheerleader. Oh, I ain't always. <laughs> Let me tell you, baby. I ain't just start kicking my leg high. <laughs> I've been kicking my leg high. How you think I real, I roll a uh, real Michael Vick in? <laughs> that, come on with it now. Come on now. <laughs> they doing they little Beyonce. Herb, you gotta find Ocean Stove. <laughs> can you tell the difference when the big cats get down? Chai, can you tell the difference when they was up there? That sound was horrible. Yep. Chai, that sound was horrible. And the little outfits were horrible. And they had messed up the line. They lines and everything was all crooked. Chai. Now, I give credit where credit is due. The sonic boom, baby. That's Ocean of Soul, baby. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Roy, Roy, are you on it, Roy? You on it? Uh. No, I'm not out there.
<laughs> Don't hate, Rod. <laughs> Don't hate. Come on, Rod. Don't hate. But anyway, that's it. I want to let y'all know. Clips. Get the calm and uh, get the calm and the grease and come grease ain't a scalp. Thank you.